guys, Lamer Gamer here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make epic thumbnails. So I'm on my Android device, and I'm using Adobe Photoshop Touch for this. If you want to see it in the real Photoshop, which is, uh, you know, more advanced. So yeah, just comment it down below, and I'll be sure to make that. So first, you want to create a blank project and keep it a 1. 280 times 720 so that's you know whatever okay so when you have that just get any photo from your um camera or anything that you want so sorry um i'm just gonna get where is it i'm gonna go into the uh camera and i'm gonna click this one so yeah just keep anything that you want it doesn't really matter what type of photo it is and just increase the size to all of your screen so there i have this perfect thing and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fx click gaussian blur, blur and do it 127 go again go into there do 127 again and 127 uh, yeah, it doesn't even matter again. So, yeah, now we have something like this, which is, you know, you can just keep it anything. Now, I have another thing. If you don't want that, what you can just do is that you can just go into, um, but FX, uh, go, no, I mean, sorry, you can just go into this and thing, you can go into gradient. And yeah, I have this one selected, and you know, you, they have many different styles, so yeah. If you just don't want to select one from them, you can just like make your own things. And here you also have the option to change the alignment, how do you want it to look, do you want the gradient over the bigger or smaller, you can do lots of things with it, so uh, the way that I like it is like... Um, let's just see, like that, and I'll click, okay. So now that we have this gradient type, we'll label, just add our text. So go to the add button, click text, and here I'm going to use flood std, so click the text, and you're going to get, so we'll do make, and make sure that it's happy, like, make, or increase the size a bit, put it over there, and yeah. Okay, so make, again, go to text, then you want to go over change this to, Epic, and we do uh, I don't know, this profit standard, okay, whatever. And cl click this, make epic. And for thumbnails, I have the perfect font out of all of them. So, go to text and choose the um, you choose this cottonwood STD medium and do thumbnails there. And this is actually pretty cool because. You know what? You can actually do a lot of things with this. And this thumbnail just makes it give a really neat look. Now, finally, what I'm going to do to make this just a little bit more attractive is that I'm going to go over here. I'll go to FX and I'm just going to basic and I'll go into, um, wait, let me find that one. No, I'm sorry. Hey, right, whatever. We don't like we need to do that right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna select this. I'm gonna go on layer. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go merge down. Oh, uh, I messed up. I'm sorry. Now I merge down. Uh, you click that. You click merge down one. Merge down two. And click done. So now that you have that out of the way, we have this as a layer. So whatever you move, it is going to be moved in a layer. So suppose I want to increase the text size, it will be done as a whole layer, okay? So here, you will like almost done. Now just to make this more attractive, I take a lens flare. Now let's see, intensity, I want it like that. I want it at like... Um, we'll keep this down, scale to cut the intensity a bit, we'll change the direction of it, like, 
yeah I wanted to come from there and and like over this way ish so there that's looking good and okay guys so before we move on I just want to tell you guys that check out fatal grips it's a uh, it's you know it sells out controllers and it sells out you know X out things or it has lots of things so to use it you just take anything that you want I'm just gonna take this one for PlayStation 4 what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna add it to cart and now that it's in my cart I'll go into my cart I'll go into I'm going to check out and now that I'm at checkout here's what you want to do if you're in PC you'll just see add a coupon code like around the side if you're in the mobile device it's your order summary and here just put in the promo code lamer gamer which is gonna get you a whole 10% off now don't you think that 10% is a little too much I think it should be like 5% but whatever they're giving you guys 10% off so yeah just be happy and let's continue on with the video now what I'm gonna do is that I'll do that do uh, I mean add and I'll do photo layer and I'll go into local photos I'll go into search of D download and I'll just take this unnamed thing so add and there uh, I'll uh, like increase the size a bit make sure that it is turned a bit Increase the size a bit more and I just want to like scale upon that thing I just give this nice look Now all you want to do is just bring it down and there that should look really good Now if you're not happy with this look, you know, that's okay Because what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna photo layer again and we're gonna local photos and I'll just go into camera and I'll just take that background that I was showing to you guys. Click add. Make sure that is up to the whole screen. So there and yeah. We'll move it up a bit so that I just want the damn part so there. Now that we have that, we'll bring this to the most, uh, you know what, we'll take this, we'll do this, we're going to FX, we're going to basic, we're going to guns and blur, blur, 127, and I'll take this, I'll hold it into the blend mode, and I'll, hmm, I'll just see which one fits the best, linear dodge, I don't know. Linear dodge also looks pretty cool, so, um, but it doesn't really give out that feeling of it. It really looks, um, you know, just, you know, not that cool, good, up, up to the mark, so, overlay, not really. I'm gonna do is lighten, since I think that over here it is the best choice, so, there's, you know, that pretty cool multicolored effect that I really like, and yeah, so there. And this is a little thumbnail basically. Now, what you can do is that. Like, I don't know. It's basically done. Now, I did kind of mess up a part of it because I could have, like, just went in. To wait, first, let me just increase the opacity a bit. So, there and. I don't know. I can also use screen since it does really make it. Any good or I can use multiply or you know subtract it that's gonna give it a really contrasty look which you know you might like or you can use difference which is gonna give it a saturated look personally I'm just liking the lighten so I'm just gonna choose that one Okay, so what you could have done is that before adding this flare, you could have added a drop shadow by going to FX, uh, go into drop shadow, and just increase that a little bit. You could have increased that, and then make it like that. Increase the blur, actually decrease the blur. Distance, just a little. You don't want the distance much. Our opacity just decreases kind of and distance increase blur you want to decrease that like 
I and I am. I want to increase it depending on the thing that you want. So, yeah, that's how it would have looked with the drop shadow. Obviously, you can obviously change the color. Obviously, you can obviously change the color. What does that even mean? But yes, so I think this is the final product which is gonna come out now. To save this, you just click there, save the project. And if you wanna click on to. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, eight! So yeah, again, that was my video on how to make epic thumbnails. It's not really that cool, but it might be the best for small YouTubers, maybe. Or, I'll be making a Adobe Photoshop tutorial, which is obviously an advanced one. So yeah, I hope that you guys did enjoy it. If you did, you smash the link down below. And yeah, so peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>